The Student Doctor presents How to Get Your ECFMG ID and Apply for the USMLEs. In this video, we'll focus on how to get your ECFMG ID. So the first step is to check if your school is on the FAMER list. FAMER is the foundation for advancement of international medical education and research. So basically you can find this on uh, the World Directory of Medical Schools website, which is wdoms.org. You can just search um, the name of your school or you can search by city and find your school that way. Your school needs to be on this list for you to be eligible to apply for anything um, in the ECFMG. Okay, so the next step is to apply for your ECFMG ID. You do this through IWA, which is the interactive web application on the ECFMG website at ecfmg.org. Let's go through how to apply right now. So if I want to apply for my ECFMG ID, I have to go to the ECFMG website, which is www.ecfmg.org. And here on the online services part, I want to go to the interactive web applications, Iowa. Okay, once you reach the Iowa page, you'll see that you can um, insert the ECFMG identification number and password to get in. Obviously right here, we're trying to get the ECFMG identification. So if you see at the lower part of the page, it says, um, if you are a first time user of the online services, you can click here to establish an account. Okay, so this is the ECFMG authentication process. These are the instructions. Um, at the top, it tells you um, you are going to request the ID number. So you need a form of identification that has your uh, correct and current legal name. So it's basically your passport name. Uh, whatever is on your passport is what you are going to write in this form because if you don't get that right, you're going to have a lot of issues, a lot of paperwork, and a lot of hassle. So um, it says check your email, allow a minimum of five business days to process this, and um, don't, you know, keep requesting the ID number. If you didn't get it the first time, you should call ECFMG um, instead of just duplicating your, your request because everything will be delayed. Okay, so these are the instructions and you need to read them before you get to the end of the page and you say I confirm. Basically, they are again repeating that your name should be what is on your passport. Don't take this lightly. Do everything uh, very carefully. So, and always provide an email address that works so that they can send you your ID. Okay, so then you hit I confirm that I have read the above information and instructions and you press next. Then basically this is saying, have you ever submitted an application for ECFMG before? So no, I haven't. And here you're going to fill out your entire um, information uh, correctly. Again, what is on your passport? Here the NBME issued USMLE ID. Um, some people have this, usually you don't, but in the rare instance that you do, then make sure you fill it in there. Then for your uh, degree, or sorry, your uh, medical school, you need to select your country. So I went to medical school in India, okay? And you press select. Here there will be a list of medical schools that you can choose. So find yours and select it. Select the country of residence you know how to do this then say I certify and hit submit obviously I'm not filling out this entire form so I'm not gonna hit submit but this is the basics um, of how to apply this is the application form okay so now you applied for your ECFMG ID what's next well you just gotta wait you have to wait for about five days before they send you an email and uh, they'll provide you with your ID and you can start logging in to Iowa and Oasis. So um, I think first they give you a temporary password to use and then you can change that password. So that's how you get your ECFMG ID. 
which is so important in um, everything that you need to do um, in your correspondence with ECFMG for applying for the exams, for your ECFMG certification. All of this stuff needs your ID.